me make sure you can see my Bornados. 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 Why don't like I Andre. Say it's like Andre, not Kanye. Born. That's good. You got this. I believe you. She was born in the winter. She drinks when she's bored. She cries with the sinners. She sleeps like a storm. She gets hot. She gets cold. She never stays warm. What up, everybody? Welcome back to Nashville on Sign. We are hanging out on the infamous, notorious um, OG Red Couch with the OG Lovely. David Bournier. Good Born. to see you, Amber. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you, thank you. It was kind and of a hybrid. if you guys um, did not notice the Bornados t-shirt, it's our new baseball team, right? Join the team. Join the team. Just Hashtag like join the team. She knows what's up. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on the couch. I feel like your glasses are just doing their thing on your necklace right now, like living the dream. They're just We're hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, so tell us, like, you're, how, how long have you been in Nashville? I'm a class of 2010. Uh, straight from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where I was born and raised. And Hence the hat. Yeah. My dad is the football announcer at LSU and the football games in the stadium, the PA announcer. So Shut I was stuck right there now. for a while and uh, I made it out alive and I made it to Nashville, which was uh, has been a very just uh, beautiful experience living here. It made me uh, a way better uh, musician and artist being around all the people here and I love Nashville, so I've been here for eight years. Nice, yeah. nice. So you're closing in on what they say is a 10-year town. Yeah, I mean, when I was closing in on five years, they called it a five-year town, too. So, <laughs> so I, they keep I think kicking you can it back. Just, yeah, just however many years it takes. David's been here. We're going to kick it back. It takes the years. time it takes yeah. to get it right. So yeah. I don't think there's a, there's a rule. I do know living here eight years, it becomes a very small town. You know, you're, a, you're one uh, degree away from pretty much anyone. Yeah, uh, Kevin Bacon's is, everywhere. It, right? There's Kevin Bacon. Yeah, he's just <laughs> everywhere. Bacon just flying. Bacon's around. just flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good uh, Nashville analogy, actually. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so you've um, worked with a few of our alumni um, that are also equally as badass, which is Bree Kennedy from Class Eight. And I'm pretty sure Paul McDonald was class eight as well. Yeah, Bree and Paul, great friends. We write songs together. And uh, like I said, like being in Nashville and getting to meet these people, although Paul I've known since our uh, SEC uh, uh, dive bar playing days. But uh, <laughs> and Bree, getting to know Bree and all, all these talented people that just kind of, I've, I've been fortunate enough to uh, make music with, which is something I just never even knew would be a possibility in my life as like a 15 year old and playing guitar in my in my room with the door <laughs> closed so uh yeah you're definitely hanging with some pretty dope talent including yourself you've got a new album out <clears throat> and what's the the is it self-titled yeah uh, break my heart break it's my called. heart it's an ep yeah correct. is your album and yeah. you've got some pretty cool features on there too yeah we have uh leah blevins is on there uh Cree harrison who's another artist in, in nashville who i love and actually play guitar for sometimes as well and uh muddy magnolias were on there uh oh, their live performances callie are and, just insane callie and jess who are uh incredibly badass uh yeah. women and uh, artists and then another artist named sierra farrell who goes with the wind on trains and Sometimes you might see her busking out on Broadway when she's in Nashville for nothing but fun. It, uh, she's awesome, too. So, yeah, there was a lot of artists raised that. And then uh, another song has Rustin Kelly singing harmony. So I traded, you know, for the four ladies and Rustin. Rustin Kelly, insane. So you've got yeah. just, you just travel with a pack of Well, surround awesome yourself people. with people more talented than you and you, you'll work at you. You're the It'll smartest person out. in the room. You're there in the wrong is. room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I can honestly say, after listening to your album, you're, you can't put you in a box at all. Like, I don't think that it's like what people consider, consider country right now. I don't think it's what people consider Americana right now. Mm. I feel like you're just going in and you're saying, like, this is what I do. You can put it under Southern Rock. You can right. put it under Americana. You can put it under, under country. But, like... I'm kind of a hybrid of all of them. Yeah, I don't. I, I I've never looked at uh, 
songwriting that way. It's just I think I, I have a, a the way I write songs comes out in a general ballpark of a direction, but yeah. I listen to a lot of different kinds of music. But I mean, it's mostly that '90s rock mixed with Guy Clark, and somewhere in the middle, it all meets in the Beatles and. Uh, it, it, there's no rules. One of the great things about being unsigned Ooh, nice plug. is that uh, I, you can do whatever you, you want. You control it. I yeah, mean, you everything's your... elective. It's like, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. Yeah. And it's pretty, it's an amazing freedom uh, that, I mean, there's been times in my career where I've looked at it as a big negative, not having a big team and all these people like flying the flag for me. But, there's also a lot of positives to just figuring yourself out yeah. and having that freedom. And, yeah. uh, it's a beautiful thing, fortunate. man. Yeah. You've been able to, to do what you want to do and stay in, and stay in what you know that you love to do without, yeah, yeah. you know, seven people being like, Hey, I think you should cut your hair, it's, shave your beard yeah, yeah, and wear yeah. a suit. <laughs> yeah. When like, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're a lot of people doing the, I have a lot of friends who are in the, uh, they're published, you know, songwriters and, They'll be like, yeah, my song didn't make it past like the six approval to be the the uh, the twelfth song on this mm-hmm. record, and I'm like, that would stress me out. You're like, <laughs> and no thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they they I mean they're they're so great at it and have that. Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's a lame, which is beautiful. I'm glad people yeah, get to go make money and do that way. Yeah, but yeah. It, it, I realized early on in my life here that that was not going to be the lane mm-hmm. I was I was going to drive in. So. That's really cool, man. So we're going to take a, a little bit of a different direction because we want to expose you as a personality okay. behind the music. Okay. So tell us I'm something. Ready. And we know there's something weird or random in there. So tell yeah. us something weird or random about yourself or illegal if you want to. We won't show anybody. <laughs> that you want to give to us to kind of like expose your personality a little bit. Whoa. That not a lot of people know. Okay. It has to be like... Well, it won't be thing. anything illegal. I used to do a lot of illegal things, but I realized that, that most of them just stress me out. So I'm, try, <laughs> I'm trying to keep Cut back on the stress. Era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All those were stressors. Um, about a year and a half ago, I got into taking ice baths. Uh, really? Yeah, so pretty much uh, every day, at least I'm in town, I've got a deep freezer in my backyard uh, that I bought for $35 on Craigslist. Uh, I had to, the Craigslist people thought I was crazy because in the ad I was like looking for deep freezer big enough to fit a body. Oh my God. <laughs> and it's true, I fill it up with water, free, free, I keep it free, at like 32 free. to 40 degrees and I sit in it I, every morning if I want to get my mind right and it's just like it's... Uh, meditative chill chill time <laughs> um pun intended it's really it, and I, I love it it really uh it really gave me the ability to change a lot of bad habits by kind of just being sitting there and freezing water with my breath yeah. for a few minutes so what, that's what um, did that come from the sporting world no it Is didn't i've never you... done it in sports it was a musician friend had one at his house and i'd noticed him getting a little calmer like <laughs> and he, he'd been he credited to taking these baths it was at his house and I jumped in there one day in like 40 degree weather outside and like a hundred pounds of ice. And I felt really good after I, that's all I knew. I was like, I stored that feeling. And then six months later I bought a big tub to put ice in, in the backyard and started doing it. And then, uh, there's like a crazy Dutch guy named Wim Hof, who is like the leader of the ice people basically. (laughs) And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's basically vascular is the biggest benefit that like, if you stay in that cold of water for two minutes, like all the, all your blood vessels shrink all a hundred thousand miles of them in your body, which is how many you have. And then really? after two minutes, they just all expand. So like, you're just kind of feel it's, it's a, it's oh, a, it's so if, I, if you guys see me on Craigslist searching with the same phrase that she's not trying with, to kill someone, I have not killed anyone and I'm not trying to, so just so you guys know, but I think yeah. I'm gonna have to take on the same like ice bath. Look, you can come, up, come over anytime. <laughs> uh, Daphne Willis, is she an alumni? Yes. She's my ice bath buddy. She oh comes over gosh. every week, does one Daphne one Willis is class six. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. then. I'm missing out. That's the weirdest thing. I I'm do, missing as, out right now. My friends, hey, right, that is come, weird. Come, it's up, come this, up in the ice. I will because that good. is the first time we've ever heard ice bath oh, on good. this couch. Right. And Thanks. Daphne, you've been holding out on us. Just saying. <laughs> so tell us. Um, the, we're in the wild segment now, so it's W H Y L D. So okay. what have you learned, dude? 
um, in your time in the music industry? Or uh, I will say that info? more than anything... I'm acting like I don't know these questions are coming, like people do on the inside the actor's studio. <laughs> you know, it's like they're the same questions uh -huh, every week. Yeah. You know what he's going to ask. You know it's you. coming. Um, I, I, uh, the the work will be rewarded uh, more than the talent. Uh, That's true. I believe that. I mean, music becomes a business like anything else. There's mm -hmm. like, you know, your 0.1% who are like, you know, Marin Morris or Ariana Grande. Someone mentioned these people that everyone sees. And are like, oh, like I want to be that. Yeah. And they, and they kind of they're perceived as these overnight successes, you know. And it's like, uh, but I mean, Marin put her out her first record when she was ten or eleven, mm -hmm. I think. So no one sees those roots of like work and sweat that it just it takes that more than anything. And work on yourself first. Yeah. Everything else will fall in line, like. When you are like, when I'm writing a song with someone and they're like, let's get a picture real quick. I'm like, <laughs> let's just think about, is that really serving? Is that where your mind should be? Because right. I do believe if you put their work into yourself, into your craft, that people are going to follow you yeah. on whatever you want them to follow you on. Um, that and everything takes forever was my favorite quote I've heard <laughs> in the music business. Everything, everything takes, takes forever. <laughs> People overestimate what they can do in a week and underestimate what they can do in a year yeah. if you just keep plugging and working yeah. and trying. And uh, Good advice, man. That would be my that's, advice. That's some good advice. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. A Brain percent. pretzel. There it is. <laughs> David Bournier, ladies and gentlemen. Bournier. Not Bournier. Bournier. <laughs> Thank you, All right, guys. We're out. Thank you so much. Never ask, but I never say no.